So, first of all, we have to go back, when we look at Bill Clinton and his relationship in Haiti when he was president, one of the worst things that he's done that's still hurting Haiti now, especially in the wake of these disasters that keep happening to Haiti, is this policy where he took the excess rice from Arkansas, where he's from, and dumped it in Haiti and used our tax dollars to subsidize it. Up until this past recent year, there's legislation that keeps getting knocked off to reverse this policy, although he's apologized for it. Let's and, go to that apology. Yeah. Yes, in 2010, former President Clinton publicly apologized for forcing Haiti to drop tariffs on imported subsidized U.S. rice during his time in office. The policy wiped out Haitian rice farming, seriously damaging Haiti's ability to be self-sufficient. This is the president apologizing at a hearing before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee at the time. He was the U.N. special envoy to Haiti. Since 1981, the United States has followed a policy until the last year or so we started rethinking it, that we rich countries that produce a lot of food should sell it to poor countries and relieve them of the burden of producing <coughs> their own food. So thank goodness they can leap directly into the industrial era. It has not worked. It's maybe been good for some of my farmers in Arkansas, but it has not worked. It was a mistake. It was a mistake that I was a party to. I am not pointing the finger at anybody. I did that. I have to live every day with the consequences of the lost capacity to produce a rice crop in Haiti to feed those people because of what I did. Nobody else. That's President Clinton. This in practice role. is still in effect, and Haiti is always getting rice dumped on them. Rice is a staple. There's no reason why Haiti should be importing rice, because that's something that's always... The, the rice grown in Haiti is much healthier. Ever since this rice has been coming in, there have been di um, diabetes epidemics. People didn't used to have that much diabetes. This is the worst thing that could have happened to Haiti.